Growing up in Thunder Bay, this exceptional athlete participated in a number of sports, setting school records in running and advancing to provincial levels in gymnastics with the YMCA Twisters Gymnastics Club. In 1982, she turned her talents toward the diving board at the Canada Games Complex and never looked back. She claimed a silver medal at the Junior Nationals, earning her entry onto the national age group team in 1983 after just nine months of diving. Her silver medal performance in the one-meter event at the 1985 Canada Summer Games and bronze medals at the Senior National Championships secured her a spot on the national senior diving team in 1986. Becoming Thunder Bay's first ever carded diver in 1988, she went on to become a 14-time senior national champion. A single missed dive in the 1988 Olympic trials prevented her from competing at the Seoul Games. However, she did not let this dampen her spirits, but rather spent the next four years honing her skills and making a name for herself on the international diving circuit. Putting in a gold medal performance in the one-meter event at the 1990 Commonwealth Games in Auckland, she became the first diver from northwestern Ontario to attain such success. And the final dive for Mary will be a forward two-and-a-half somersault in the pike position with a DD of 2.6. She only needs fours to win. That should do it. A little short on the entry, but it should be good enough to win the goal for Mary Di Piero. She only needed 31 points for first place. She's not quite vertical enough, and that will cost her a few points. But when you consider the tremendous pressure she was under, she came through when Seven, she had to with that half, final dive. 50.70, and a big hug from her coach, Mitch Geller. So the gold medal, Canada's first. Mary DiPiero, the winner of the gold medal in the women's one-meter springboard. Mary, how does it feel to have that gold medal around your neck? Really good. I'm really happy I won. I'm so excited. You won this for a special person. Yes, it's my mother's birthday today, and I'd like to wish her a happy birthday in Thunder Bay. Earning a bronze medal at the highly competitive China Open diving tournament, in Chengdu in 1991 and putting in a fifth place showing at the 1991 World Aquatic Championships, the best ever by a Canadian diver, the stage was set for Mary's ultimate challenge and she did not disappoint her many fans. In 1992, Mary's hard work and dedication allowed her to realize her dream of competing in the Olympics, taking to the springboard in Barcelona, having set a personal goal of a top 12 finish. Qualifying for the final, she surpassed that goal, placing eighth overall in the three-meter event, entering the history books as a Canadian diver who placed the highest at the Games that year. Coming full circle, Mary ended off her 13-year diving career with a bronze medal performance in the one-meter event at the 1994 Commonwealth Games in Victoria. Following her competitive career, Mary remained active in the sport passing along her knowledge of diving as a color commentator for CBC Sports and as a coach to young divers in Thunder Bay and St. John's, Newfoundland.